They call this bleeding the tree. For a substance the world is addicted to, now at the center of a global trade war. It's latex in its purest form, found in tires, phones, toothbrushes, satellites, or mattresses. It is an essential element in daily life. And so deep in the Ivorian forest, Olivia Dopo goes from tree to tree, scarring them for the precious liquid. It's a craft passed on from generations. It's an art form that keeps us fed and brings us a regular wage. Unlike cocoa or coffee, natural rubber is collected all year round. Planters sell it to factories that pay them a monthly fixed wage, but prices have been slashed by almost half since the beginning of the year. Trump is imposing $200 billion in tariffs on China, the world's largest manufacturer of rubber goods. China, in response, imposes tariffs on synthetic rubber the West produces. While in the short term this is bad for African producers, in the long run some hope the continent could benefit from this trade war. Tomorrow our turn will come. We have the land, better yet the labor, and the know-how to manufacture it. Eventually the world will come to us to get their rubber and will manufacture it. Ivory Coast is Africa's biggest producer. Research is underway to develop more efficient seedlings to produce more and better quality rubber. Natural rubber has been around for hundreds of years, and yet scientists know so little about this. It's in its purest form. It's stretchy and strong, and no one yet has been able to reproduce it. Researchers here are trying to protect natural rubber plantations because the world's appetites for this substance continues to grow. The quality of synthetic rubber does not match what is found in nature. Scientists are genetically modifying seedlings to make them resistant to disease. Discovered deep in the Amazon forest and planted across Africa and Asia by colonizers, it was nicknamed the devil's milk because it fueled conflict and destruction. Unaware of the global trade war and despite falling prices, Adopo calls rubber white gold, at least for now. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Grand Ivory Coast.